you've got businesses across multiple sectors, of course. What is your sense, looking at those businesses, of the state of China's economy right now? First of all, Fosun indeed covers a wide range of business, but we concentrate on family consumption, health, happiness, wealth, so our business is very focused. Particularly in recent years, we have been more and more focused. Secondly, I'm very confident in China's economy. China has a large middle class, so there's huge domestic demand. Also, China's industrial chain is very strong in global competition. For the future, our Chinese business will still be the priority and the most important for Fosun. We sense that there is huge growth potential. We're obviously seeing tensions between Beijing and Washington rising. And there's also trade friction between Beijing and Australia, Canada, also India. How much of a headwind are those tensions for a business like yours? I don't believe some extreme voices during the election campaign can represent the future of the US-China relationship. I believe they will find a solution in future. Secondly, Fosun complies with local laws in our global positions. We are very friendly to local communities, so all of our investment and business development are welcomed. In terms of investment, we will focus more on strengthening our industry in the future instead of expansion. So we will concentrate on strengthening our existing businesses in regions we are already in. The broader business, you've got debt to capital ratio of about 56%. That's increased a little bit. It's not at dangerously high levels. Are you comfortable with debt levels at around that ratio? And are you looking to raise additional funds either via stock insurance or bond issuance or loans? We will maintain a prudent financial policy so we are comfortable with the existing debt ratio. We won't aggressively change our financial strategy, but of course we won't be too conservative. Over the past few years we've tried to get a balance between investment and debt which means we have investments, but we also have exits. In terms of multi-channel financing, we have both bonds and stocks. In terms of regions and currencies, we have financing in the Chinese yuan in mainland China and financing in US dollars overseas. That gives us more and safer sources of funds. One of the most important development strategies for Fosun's future is to maintain prudent finance and adequate cash flow. Which parts of the world, as you look out across the globe, look most enticing to you right now as an investment opportunity? We have taken a position in Brazil. We are optimistic about its future development. Southeast Asia is a place where we don't have strong investment, but we will strengthen there. Apart from that, Fosun's artisan, the treatment for malaria, has made a great contribution in Africa. It is called almighty medicine there. I think Africa has been facing a huge challenge, in particular from this coronavirus pandemic. We hope we could do more for Africa. Ten years down the line, ten years from now, where do you expect, where do you hope Fosun to be ten years from now? Fosun has a plan to grow ten times in ten years. We hope in the next decade our overall business will see ten times growth, big growth in the customers we are serving. More importantly, we will also bring them better products and better services.